Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the latest installment in our bowl preview series. This time taking a look at New Year's Day Bowl as the Verbo Citrus Bowl gets underway from Camping World Stadium there in Orlando, Florida. That is a 1 p.m. Eastern time start. It's the Auburn Tigers and the Northwestern Wildcats going at it down there in the Citrus Bowl. As always, we appreciate if you would consider giving us the thumbs up for the video, if you dig what we're doing, having a little fun, getting good information, appreciate the uh, appreciate the like. And if you haven't done so already, we uh, would love to have you consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and getting notified each and every time we put up brand new content just by clicking the bell when you do subscribe. All right, so let's take a look at this one, shall we? Northwestern is a four-point favorite, and the total on this game as of right now is currently still 40, oh, excuse me, has gone to 44 and a half, and now the line back is back, yeah, down to Northwestern minus the four. So um, we're going to take a look at the side in this one. You know, despite getting torched by uh, Ohio State on the ground in the Big Ten Championship game, uh, this Northwestern defense is the real deal, and they did bow up when they, uh, and, and many of opportunity there as they did give up just 22 points to Ohio State uh, in spite of the fact that they were able to run the ball fairly successfully. Uh, the Auburn Tigers, I'm just not a fan of this offense. They they struggle on the offensive side of the ball. They've made hay against teams like Arkansas, Ole Miss, and LSU, but they have struggled against good defenses. And Northwestern uh, will likely be uh, one of the best defenses they faced, if not the best defense they're going to face all year. Uh, the Tigers are going to be without some... Uh, Without a couple of the targets, they're going to be missing their top receiver. They're going to be missing uh, their change of pace back. Uh, it has been rumored but not confirmed they're going to be missing their starting safety and their starting cornerback as well. And the big one is uh, running back freshman Tank Bigsby was not happy with the recent firing of Gus Malzahn. Uh, he is considering sitting out for this game. They've been very cagey about whether he's uh, going to play or not. If he does not play, this is going to be a huge factor in that game. And again, if you guys uh, have followed me before uh, from, from the ones that do my daily uh, videos or if you're a premium subscriber, you know I am not a Bo Nix fan in the least. Uh, he's a dual-threat quarterback that doesn't do either thing particularly well. He, he averages just 3.6 yards per carry. Um, he's, he's, uh, he completes about 55% of his passes, and I think he's going to struggle against this Northwestern defense. Um, now, as far as the other side of the ball goes, the Northwestern offense didn't just ride the struggle bus. They drove it and picked up passengers. Uh, they failed to top 20 points against everybody except for Purdue, Illinois, and Maryland, uh, three teams that treat defenses about the way I treat salads. I know what they are. Not really interested in getting involved with them. Um, but here's the deal, guys. This is going to be an ugly, grinded-out defensive battle. Northwestern is used to play in these kind of games. They take good care of the football. Uh, Auburn is a team that doesn't turn the ball over a lot, but Northwestern is a very, very ball hawkish team, and they tend to win the game when they win the turnover battle. I think Northwestern is able to take care of business against this Auburn offense that's likely to have even less success than the Northwestern offense. I think Northwestern will be able to get their shots in. They're going to, they're going to have to be patient. They're going to have to grind them down. It could be a field goal affair where they uh, end up Winning, you know, 16 to 7 or 16 to 9 or something like that. I think that's very possible. But I think at the end of the day, uh, this Northwestern team is able to prevail. Give me the Northwestern Wildcats minus the four points. And at the end of this one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. Good luck, everybody. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Take care, everyone.